When the check engine light comes on, my wife thinks the car is going to blow up. And a lot of times it's something that can be easily fixed, but you don't know that until you take the car to the mechanic. And when you take the car to the mechanic, a lot of times you just don't know what you're going to get and what they're going to tell you. You know, there's good mechanics and not so good mechanics. So this is where we bring all our cars. I'm going to loosen the gas cap so the check engine light will come on and we'll see what they say the problem is. So what's going on here, huh? Well, I checked it out and what I found out, it looks like it's your fuel tank pressure sensor. You're gonna be looking at $400 on parts and labor to replace the part. Okay, well thank you so much and I'll talk to my husband and we'll get back to you. Red-handed, I caught that guy red-handed. They could have told me anything. They could have said a thousand dollars. I would have believed them. We never did trust those guys. I want to show you something I think is really neat. I just got this. This is the mechanic that's always with you. It's called fixed. It plugs right into the diagnostic port of your car, just like my big units do here. You pull up a fixed app on your phone and it will go through the diagnosis of the car. It'll tell you why the check engine light came on. It not only gives you what's wrong with the car, it'll tell you what it should cost when you go into the mechanic. So the app has an answer for our check engine light, but how accurate are its results? Is what it found the same as what Lance initially changed under the hood? Uh, we disconnected one of the ignition coils, so one of the cylinders is misfiring. So is that, is that pretty accurate in terms of what it found to be the problem? Yes, pretty accurate. Lance reconnects the ignition coil to see if the fixed app can clear the indicator light after the problem has been fixed. And it did clear the check engine light. The overall ease of it to use was very simple. Uh, for what we set on it, it was very accurate. Uh, with the coil being disconnected, it, it said exactly what the concern was. You gotta ask you this big question. Does it work? Yes, it works. Underneath the dash is that OBD port I was telling you about. Every single car made after 1996 and then is gas powered has that port. Now I'm gonna bring fix down. We're gonna plug it right into that socket just like that. And then I'm gonna come up here and start the truck. All right, now on my phone, I already have the fixed app downloaded. We're gonna punch it right there, up it comes, and you see it already says 2015 Chevy Tahoe. It recognizes the truck. Tap to scan. Right down here, you can see what's going on. It's already communicating with the fixed, and it's saying, hey, the check engine light is on. Uh, let's figure out why that's happening. Well, here are all the reasons that that check engine light is on right now. The catalyst system has a low efficiency on bank one. The fuel mixture is imbalanced. Now, if I go back to the home screen and I push this little engine indicator up here, it tells you all the different lights on the dash that fixed can diagnose. Over here, you click on your multi-vehicle button so you can have your son, your wife, your friend. Just take your fixed from vehicle to vehicle and it will keep track of all those different cars. Basically, fixed gives you every single piece of information you need so it's like your car is talking to you and it's doing it in plain English. Makes it super, super simple to take the best care of your car possible and save as much money as you possibly can. Uh, to be honest, I was gonna bag on it. I was gonna tear this thing up, but I have nothing bad to say. It tells you exactly what you need in plain English. My favorite part is the maintenance reminders. It's gonna shoot you a text, show you on the app. You need an oil change. Oil change is the easiest thing you can do to keep your car running healthy. With this, you're not an idiot anymore. There's no reason why every car owner shouldn't have one. Thank you.